Where those niggas on the corner hustle all day Where the children find their bodies in the hallways Where them ladies prostituting so they call aid Kennel USA, this is Kennel USA What? I'm where those babies never Is it, is it digitally released or is it just like it's out? Straight We're digital, working? primarily through the internet okay. So you know like, that's my lifeline The blogs and the websites So being that I'm a part of that new wave of rappers i decided personally to be one of the first to embrace it wholeheartedly mm -hmm. instead of like going a traditional route and like going to a traditional label for my first album and pressing up hard copies and all that stuff i was just like you know what let me go digital let me go all the way digital let me see how this works you know what i mean i'm trying it out because again like i said that's how i built my career so either i'm gonna i think succeed and and really make strides or i'm gonna fail I mean, talk about a little bit about the fact of being relevant right now. I mean, what does it take? The internet is how I am staying relevant. <laughs> no question about it. Without the internet, there's no way I could sustain right now, period. Mm -hmm. Because you got to look at it from, from what it is. The internet is a great promotional tool. Mm -hmm. Great promotional tool. Like, you can use it. It rarely costs you any money. A MySpace page doesn't cost you any money. You know what I'm saying? Sending out MP3s doesn't cost you any money. You have to use that internet to your advantage. And that's how I started. When I when I came into the game, I was like, yo, how am I going to succeed in this rap game? And what method am I going to use? Mm -hmm. I looked at it like the battle rapping thing. I'm like, I ain't doing that. I ain't no battle rapper. And as far as like a lot of other things, I was like, nah. But the internet, I thought in my mind, I was like, this was 2006. I'm like, okay, this is starting to grow. And I know it's going to only grow much larger and larger. So I had to get in tune with this. And that's what I did. And that's how I stay relevant. Me personally, like, I'm sticking to my guns. And that's how I'm staying relevant. Because, like I said again, I'm the minority. I'm not the popular one. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's crazy it might, that might seem to you right now. Even though I get wild press and all that, like, you got to understand, like, I'm like an underdog, so to speak. Like, because I'm not falling into the line of what you know, a lot of people are looking for right now. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So in order for me to stay relevant, you know, I just basically do what it is that I do and I be good at it and I get better and better. You know, I don't really like rest on my laurels. So even the success that I have now, that's fine, but I'm looking towards tomorrow. Do you need to even use the mixtape assets? Do you want to have the actual hard copy of the, the, the album? I mean, is, is, is are those ways still even relevant right now? No, they are relevant, but... It just mm -hmm. depends on your goals. Like for me, a hard copies would only be relevant when I'm at shows or when I'm at like tours and things like that because then I can sell the merchandise hand in hand. As far as like physical products, I feel like my name isn't large enough for people to run into stores and buy my album. That's just being real. Like I feel like right now if my album was in Virgin Record Stores or whatever, you would see my album and you wouldn't even know who I was and it will be like, who's this guy? Just pass, go to the next whoever. Mm -hmm. So... I realized that I use that knowledge to my advantage and I realized that I have to focus on what my strength is. The major highlights I think I can say like um I've been like I said on MTV2, my single MTVU, um Fuse TV. I've songs been on Hot 97, Power 105. I've been on pretty much all the popular hip 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 hop blogs, websites, right. um several magazines, um tore down like every major venue out here in New York mm -hmm. to like really get my foundation solid okay. for them to give me what I want and what I need as an artist so like certain things I just won't compromise on such as my creativity and, and certain other things like for instance a lot of deals the labels right now they're giving out 360 deals and for people who don't know what that is essentially they take a percentage of everything not just your, the seller of your music they take percentages of touring merchandise and so on and so forth and me being an independent artist you gotta understand like I'm able to get on these larger networks and stuff like I'm shooting for BET tomorrow like I'm doing wild stuff I'm able to do this on my own so why would I go to a label and give you a percentage of something I'm able to do it by myself it right. makes no sense you know what I'm saying I might not be as larger as some of the other artists but at the end I think it's more rewarding and like I said when I'm ready to make that transition it'll be on my terms not theirs okay you know? let me see if I can make something happen listen Donnie Goins, freestyling, laying bars. I ain't got times for the labels and A&Rs. It's December, about to take a holiday. You already know what I do, ain't gotta say. Minute after midnight, you know the kid nice. Check out your wristwatch, y'all know the shit time. About to drop, an hour was out of stop. But I'm fucking up on the freestyle, but won't stop. I'm messing up because I've gotta incorporate these words. But understand what I say, Donnie Goins, you heard. I'm a real MC, you gotta respect me. If you don't, you mother effers better come and check me. Let me incorporate the words once again. 
You talking nonsense, but you really ain't my friend. See, I ain't got to deal with these majors. No, I ain't no hater, but a and R's are talking about this paper. So I say, nah, I got to take a day off. No holidays, I hustle. Y'all stay off. My premises. Y'all the nemesis. Talking nonsense since my genesis. And I ain't talking biblical. Not the midnight hour. Minute after midnight. Y'all motherfucking cowards. Better stop. Tiny Goins is hot. Freeze. From the corner of Lexington, we went down ten to mid to places that are resident. With dead presidents, the only thing that's relevant. So they're the only politicians people out here represent. I'm where the pavement is cracking, the dreams are wasted, the stagnant, the fiends are slaves to their habits, the demons chasing this madness. Well, we got